Well, businesses in downtown Springfield are still asking for help months after the devastating Adam Street fire. Now, owners, business owners, took their calls to City Council earlier this week. News Channel 20's Emily Jordan is working for you with the challenges they are still facing. Emily? The Cash Pajamas Cat Cafe is one of the businesses that was displaced by the Adams fire. I'm here outside their new location at 524 East Capitol Street. But despite reopening, the cafe says recovery is ongoing. Although the Cat Cafe reopened its doors in August, the business is still struggling. Owner and founder Tom Raymond says they have not replaced all their supplies, and it'll be some time before things return to normal. It was significant in the sense that we are barely sustain ourselves now when we were significantly sustain ourselves before we were even growing. Now we're essentially paying for the lights to stay on, and, but we still have a lot of community and local support to keep us going. Executive Director of Downtown Springfield, Inc., Carlos Ortega, says the issue isn't just about money, it's perspective. The heart of our capital city is downtown. The fire has, has had a ripple effect through downtown Springfield. If we can come together and create opportunities for our downtown community, uh, and then show the people of Springfield that one, we are open for business, there's free parking, and we have a lot of unique opportunities in small businesses downtown. DSI is doing the work to try and revitalize the businesses impacted by the fire. So far, they've raised over $26,000 to aid small businesses like Cafe Moxo, which has been closed since the fire. The money will also help businesses near the 400 block of Adams Street, which were also impacted. Our goal is to increase the prosperity of the community of uh, downtown and that encourages small business growth support and Raymond says their current goal is getting the word out about the new location we've just been not as informative knowing that we're reopened and we're trying to give them information on how to help us and how to get here as well as of right now the 400 block of Adam Street is still closed while crews stabilize the site before the buildings can be demolished live in Springfield I'm Emily Jordan back to you Thanks, Emily. Now, if you'd like to help out, you can head over to our website for more information on Downtown Springfield, Inc. and how you can get involved. Don't miss a video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel today for more Central Illinois news.